Okay, so I figured out a way that's even easier than the previous way that I posted on how to use is member of and use it without a string literal. So in this case, I've got this dashboard. I'm logged in as Jason, who belongs to this group, the group being Joan Oakley Schaefer. Here you can see Jason down below. Uh, but if I switch to someone like Kristen, Kristen wouldn't be able to see any information for that unless she pivots and selects her group. Okay, so um, again, if I come back here, I'll talk about some of the, the reasons why this isn't a perfect solution, one of which uh, requires a parameter. Parameters are not dynamic. By default, you can make them dynamic. Facebook showed us how to do that at Tableau Conference 2014. So if you wanna understand how to do that, you can just Google that. Um, three, it requires server, that's obvious. Four, it will show other group names, but not the content. Uh, so the example is, in this case, uh, where is it? In this case, I can see, if I'm Kristen Brown, I can see the other groups. I just can't access their content. So if that works for you, then you know all good. If it doesn't work for you, you might have, a think, have to think of a different solution. Um, all right, let me come back. There was one other thing I wanted to mention. It assumes group is part of your data. So in this case, Kristen belongs to a group, Kristen something, I forget the last name, but that group also belongs in our data set. It's a customer. So I'm presenting in this case two customers. I'm letting them log into my Tableau server environment and see this one dashboard with information that's relevant just for them. So again, here's Kristen. If I switch to Jason, Jason wouldn't see anything for other uh, groups, but if I switch to Jason's group that he belongs to, Joan Oakley Schaefer, I'm good to go, okay? So how did I do this? I did this with a filter, and my filter is, is member of text, and again, instead of using a, a string literal, I used a parameter here. So this customer thing, what I did was, I created a parameter and added from field, I added from the field customer over there. And this same customer group is what is the group to which Jason belongs. So let's look at uh, my groups real quick. I've got this Joan Oakley Schaefer group and Jason rolls up to Joan Oakley Schaefer group. All right, but then, I mean, ultimately it works. So this, again, this is, is this condition true? So does Jason in this case belong to this group customer, which right now is on Joan Oakley Schaefer? And I put another one on there, customer name. So from my data over here, equals customer. Okay, so those two conditions must be true. All right, and now I have that just on a filter for this specific worksheet, but I could also harden it to my data source by creating a data source filter and adding in whatever I called that is member of text. I'm just saying true. Okay, and I have another one on there to just keep 10 of my 3,400 customers just to keep this demo simple. Uh, but that's how you do it. It's actually not as difficult as I originally told you guys it was. So hopefully this helps.